Hey everyone, it's Deja from Knit and Crochet Ever After, and today we are going to do the crochet cast on. So what is a crochet cast on? It's exactly what it says. You're going to use your crochet hook to cast on your knitting stitches. So this is not very popular with knitters who don't know how to crochet, but because you guys are crocheters, this is going to be super easy and probably one of your go-to cast ons from now on. So after we get some cast cast it on hmm, I don't think that's right once we get some cast on we will talk about why you would prefer to use the crochet cast on instead of say maybe a long tail cast on but let's get started with casting on first and then it'll make more sense so we are gonna start with a slip knot so we take our yarn here's our tail flip it grab the working yarn pull it through and now you have a slip knot Notice I did not have to pull out a long tail. You don't need it for this cast on. You just do a long enough tail to weave in. Now, where does this go? The needle or the hook? For a crochet cast on, you put it on the hook. And then you're gonna tighten it down. Then, we take our needle and we are going to create kind of foundation chains around our needle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the yarn behind the needle, our hook in the front, yarn over just like we would for a foundation chain, and then we're going to pull, if I can go get, get a grip on it, turn our hook down so we can get through the loop on our hook just like a regular foundation chain, and pull through. We have one stitch on our hook. Our yarn's in front. It's kind of impossible to get it around our needle, so we gotta move it to the back. Bring it back around your needle to start the next one. Again, we're gonna yarn over just like we do in crochet. Pull it through. Two have been made. You're gonna get in the habit of when you do these, yarn over, pull through, you're gonna kind of get to where you figure out how to wrap that around the needle nice and easy you'll get into a rhythm of it but this is basically foundation crocheting around a needle so this will become very easy for you you're like why didn't you teach me this first this is so simple especially if you're a crocheter because a lot of times you're gonna hear use a long tail cast on use an e-cast on whatever it may be so you need to know all of them because sometimes one is better than the other. Now, why would we use this foundation? Um, foundation, see I'm used to saying foundation chain. Why would we use this crochet cast on? One really good reason is that you don't have to estimate how much yarn you need for the amount of stitches that you need. So instead of pulling out, you know, yards and yards of yarn hoping you pulled out the right amount for your long tail cast on all you need is that little bit to weave in and your slip knot easy right the second reason is look at the bottom of this this is your edge so when you have a project where you're not going to be sewing or you're not going to put like fringe say that this was a scarf if you're not going to be attaching fringe to the bottom or doing anything to your edge this is a really nice edge it gives you that foundation crochet edge it's going to look identical to your bind off edge where you actually bind off your stitches so it's a great choice when you're doing nothing to your edge now how do I finish this thing? Because I got a loop on my crochet hook. So say you need to do whatever amount of stitches this is. So let me see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So you're doing 13, because we have 12 on our needle right now. Here's number 13. We're gonna pull it out and we're gonna put it on our needle. We need to make sure though that we have that right side just like normal we want the right side of our loop so we kind of twist it to be in the front so that it's situated the right way just like the rest of them and then you're ready to start your work why did i turn it that way i'm already in the right spot <laughs> 
another great thing, you don't have to turn your work. And then you're ready to start knitting. What if I used a crochet hook for knitting? That would be interesting. Anyways, that is your crochet cast on. I'm gonna do some projects with this that I'll go over it again too. But you can see it's nice and spaced out. It's It kind of lends itself to giving you a nice space between your cast on stitches, just like I always advise so that you can work into them on the next row. But it is super simple and very nice looking edge. So that is the crochet cast on. If you have any questions, leave them below and thank you for watching.